right, good evening, everybody. How are you? My name is Michael Vose, and thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, the whole Azura crew is here with us as well. Tonight, we're gonna talk about a really exciting um, uh, modality that Azura has adopted within the last year. It is around RF microneedling, specifically the Vivace. And we're gonna do a quick round robin of introductions, and then we're gonna get started and show you why this thriving technology has become one of the most popular laser offerings in the entire United States, and how excited the Azura team is to offer it to your clients and, uh, and patients as well. So to introduce everybody real quick, I'm gonna put this on presentation mode so it's a little larger for everybody. There we go. Uh, first to introduce, Jesse Shar. She is our physician assistant. She specializes in injectables and lasers. We'll be offering out the Babachi quite a bit. Or you may see Belle Trottenberg, who is our esthetician. She specializes in lasers as well and all things skincare. And finally, Brooks Hill, who is our spa director. And I wanna hand it over to Brooks just briefly to take care of some housekeeping matters and then I'll, we'll get started right back into things. Brooks? Yeah, hey guys, uh, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe out there. Uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of information and things that you can do throughout the um, event uh, to ask questions and things like that. We are gonna be recording this um, for educational and marketing purposes, uh, but in the recording, your names will not show up. Your cameras are off, so as long as you keep those cameras off, your faces won't um, show either. So just to protect your privacy, and just so you know that we are recording this for um, to be able to use at a later date as well. Um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, Michael's going to be um, giving that. If you would chat me directly, I'm going to kind of act as a mediator during the Q&A. And the chat button should be on the bottom of your screen. You'll just see it. If you click on it, it'll pull that up. You can choose to chat directly with me, Brooks. Um, just ask your questions and I'll be sure that you get your answer during the Q&A portion um, of this event. And also please e um, message me your name and email because after this, we will be sending you a link to a really, really special offer that we um, are gonna be putting out for just you guys that have attended this event. Um, it'll be even better than the anniversary pricing for next, next week. So you'll definitely wanna keep an eye out for that. Send me your emails with your name so you can be sure to get that link after this event. Um, and I'll touch back on that towards the end as well. So um, just to remind you of that and kind of show you what you'll need to do if you're interested in taking advantage of that. Um, so I'll hand it back to Michael and you guys enjoy. Great, thanks Brooks. And again, for anybody that may have just joined us uh, between the introduction and now, my name is Michael Vose. I'm the vice president of a company called Cartessa Aesthetics. And we work direct with clients like Azura and Ginny and Brooks. Um, we provide a, a consultative non-biased approach about lasers and laser technologies that are out there. We remain untethered to any one manufacturer. So when Jenny or Brooks calls us, we simply get to evaluate all the different machines within one certain subset so that they can get the most clinical efficacious, the best patient experience, and overall some specifics that they're looking for that fit their clientele and their business model uh, the best. So when I received a call from uh, Jenny just last year, she was interested in RF microneedling, really taking the traditional microneedling to the next step and we began evaluating probably a half dozen to eight different machines themselves. And where I kind of wanted to lead her to three specific machines, there was one that I knew was glaringly better than the rest. But again, I wanted to make sure I, I provided all the information uh, in a, a non-biased approach, but could certainly um, allow her to make the same decision that I was hoping she would come out to, which of course, luckily she did. Um, so here we go. We're going to be talking about the Vivace, and it is an RF microneedling system. So let's let's cut straight to the chase. Here are the first sentence. Uh, let's face it. You know, we all want to look our best. We all want or live in this society where we want immediate results, gratifying results. We want to be able to have a lack or, or no downtime at all, but still get the same efficacious results of what we knew 10, 5 years ago as well with the same modality. The Vivace was a groundbreaking technology that came about just a few years ago and enables us to issue 
cutting edge clinical results with virtually no pain, no downtime. If you wanna be able to get rid of all of these bullet points that, that I'm showing here, if you wanna eliminate wrinkles and fine lines, you wanna help tighten your skin from face, neck, all the way to your toes, minimize any scarring you have from acne or surgical scars, minimize pore size, um, and, and gr it's incredible for improving overall skin texture and tone. There's immediate results. Again, it's virtually pain-free and there's no downtime. You'll be able to get this treatment, go to dinner with your friends at night, and nobody at the table will have any idea you had a procedure done. So let's get into why and how this all came about. Um, there, the, the very simplicity of what Vivace does is it's three modalities in one. So one, the microneedling, which is driving into the skin and helping produce collagen. Um, it's helping collagen production. It's actually going to rejuvenate the skin in a very natural fitting way. The second modality is the RF, which stands for radio frequency. All radio frequency is, is heat. And that's the biggest advocate for the skin tightening aspect. Really takes it to a next level if you are familiar with any traditional microneedling or other modalities that create collagen, uh, none of which on the market have the radio frequency that can help that skin tightening aspect as well. And it is immediate. And then the third modality tied in are your LED lights. If you're not familiar with LED, uh, we have two different LED nanometer wavelengths. The red wavelength is helpful for overall skin rejuvenation. And the alternative is blue, which helps more oily skin or acne prone skin types. So this became all the rave about uh, all the rage about probably two years ago, really two and a half years ago in 2017. And you can see this technology has already been featured in Cosmopolitan, Elle magazine, Men's Health, Vogue, the list goes on. Even just general Google searching uh, search engine with search engine optimization, you see microneedling and particularly RF microneedling coming to the top and surpassing what we know as cool sculpting, which is probably one of the most well-known um, non-invasive laser solutions in the past. So the craze is there um, and not all RF microneedlings are equal either. So I wanna show you kind of why we derive to the solution of Vivace as opposed to the six, seven, eight, nine other options that are out there and the uniqueness to the system with what Azura offers. So what do we use it for? Again, just to circle back on this, wrinkles, fine lines, acne scars, surgical scars. It shrinks pores incredibly and right off the bat, it really helps dull skin. It gives you this fresh polished look. Um, any active acne, this can be utilized and um, uh, treat active acne. Just an overall tone and texture improvement. If you have stretch marks, uh, or any skin tightening. And literally any of these aspects can be utilized from head to toe, which takes me to my next slide. Um, you know, this is really a revolutionizing aspect of the microneedling world. Um, what we're able to do, there is a little bit of science and technology, but these are expensive pieces of an equipment. So when you get traditional microneedling um, that may, you know, cost a certain amount, uh, it's a smaller investment. This is a tenfold investment for a, uh, a practice like Azura to be able to offer it out to their patients. And there's real technology. There's something called the Chevron circuitry, which is essentially a precision-based robotic delivery system that is the exact same technology in a $2 million robotic system that are located in our uh, hospitals and healthcare systems, um, often utilized for surgical matters and OBGYN. That same chip and technology aspect is what's inside this machine to help deliver the needles precisely to the depth of where we need to get each and every time. And it's not just a mechanical drive of the needles into the skin. It again is that robotic delivery, which leaves virtually no blood, no sebum to be found. So you have these perfectly clean microchannels, which enable in essence, all of these expensive cosmeceuticals to get absorbed in depths that you wouldn't naturally be able to get just by applying any type of skin care or any other treatment directly onto the skin. So again, that robotic system is important for not only the precision of the needle depth, but also the release of RF energy, that heat that you're seeing. Um, other technologies that are competitors of Avachi 
when we do our histology reports, you see just these plumes, these pops of heat. The Vivace stacks it perfectly clean like a brick mechanism. So you reach all the way to the depths where the needle reaches and then scours all the way to the top or uh, right at the surface of the skin. And again, you have the result is these perfectly clean micro channels that are perfectly susceptible for absorption of the cosmeceuticals that'll come to, into play later here in this presentation. So again, just some of the technical aspects and then we'll get to the fun stuff here shortly, but there are 31 precise different depth adjustments. And, and this is important because if the 30 year old young lady walks in and just wants a simple polishing and, and some uh, a nice glow and maybe she has some pore sizes she wants shrunk down, we can control the depth accordingly. Or we can go to these greater depths up to 3.5 millimeters as it illustrates here. And this can attack more of the aggressive acne scars or deep wrinkles and fine lines, perhaps we find on the neck um, or even on the knees and thighs, et cetera. There are 36 medical grade needles in this. If you are familiar with other uh, predecessors to this type of technology, some microneedling solutions just have nine to 12 needles. So you're getting 36 medical grade gold tip insulated needles that really protect the surface of the skin so that there's virtually no risk of erythema, edema, or any pigmentation issues either. It's a 70 watt system. And all I'll say about that is when it comes to lasers, power is safety you're able to deliver the mechanism with the least amount of energy necessary to get the results that are harnessed. So you're not creating vast amounts of trauma that are just unnecessary or perhaps uh, stemming for longer downtimes and particularly pain as well. One and two megahertz, it's the only system on the market that has this option. So again, it's just a customizable feature uh, that when any of the estheticians or physician assistants are treating you, you'll be able to get customized for your treatment. It's not just a, a cookie cutter, one size fits all type aspect. And there again, the red and blue LED lights, which enable you to target whether you just need inflammation prone skin type or an acne prone skin type. Here's a look at the handpiece and what you see. There it is demonstrating the red LED light. And on the right, you can see it demo demonstrating the blue. All three of these modalities are simultaneous with each pulse. So the esthetician will just virtually cruise across your face. Very, uh, it's very relaxing, very soothing, um, but in a, in a manner to where you hardly even notice anything's taking place, virtually no pain at all. The benefits of the robotic needle delivery, I won't get into too much uh, depth here, but just wanna to notate again, it's the precise control depth of each proven depth we're, we're targeting. Um, the delivery does not tear the tissue. If you go on YouTube or Google, or perhaps you just heard from your friend that they may have had a um, either traditional microneedling or even another type of RF microneedling treatment, but it wasn't Vivace, it looks like and can look like a horror show. I mean, it, it can be rather uh, graphic. There can be a lot of blood with each particular microchannel. There's a lot of swelling that we call edema. And this can last for two to three to sometimes five days. With this, I'm gonna show you some before and afters and what it looks like immediately after. You'll never experience that. There's no bleeding. Again, perfectly clean microchannels, no pain, no downtime. So who is the right candidate for Vivace? Well, this is the great part, everybody. If you are the lightest of skin type all the way to the darkest of skin type, men and women of all ages, you apply for the Vivace. Um, so uh, there are a couple of contraindications and medical concerns we wanna take care of, uh, but it, as you get your consultation with our staff, they will certainly notify you about that. They're very few and far between and rare. Um, so again, the vast majority of, of people are certainly eligible for this style of treatment. Oh, and one other thing I do want to mention about this as far as who applies. Often with lasers, we have to be very careful of use during this time of year, late spring into summer, and then even sometimes early fall. Uh, there are at-risk factors due to the heat and the sun exposure, which can create hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, which are a lightening or darkening of the skin. 
this treatment, uh, excuse me, this uh, offering, we don't have to worry about that at all. You can treat it all year round, 365 days a year. So no matter when you start or end your procedure, you're in good graces. All right, what does the Vivace experience look like? So you'll come into Azura. Uh, our staff will take care of you, greet you, get you settled into your room. They'll begin by doing a gentle cleanse over your face, and they'll put a, a topical numbing cream that just sits on your skin for about 30 minutes while you can read or catch up on, on emails. After that, they will take that off and begin preparing your skin for treatment. Just like that, voila, the treatment's done. Literally 15 to 20 minutes um, and the treatment is completed. Now the 15 and 20 minutes would be just a full face and neck treatment, but it's incredibly fast. A lot of people have been quoted to say they're, they fall asleep during the procedure or it's a relaxing, it's almost like a massaging aspect to the treatment. So very, very accommodating. Um, you can be in and out of the office within an hour during your lunch break, and the, the staff will take great care of you to make sure you get the full blown experience. Now, one thing that Vivace, the laser offers, or I should say the company offers um, that Azura does that I, I love is what we call the Vivace experience. So this is giving you clinical results and outcomes with a spa-like feel. I've already described the no pain, the no downtime, but they're going to complete the Vivace treatment and then immediately after put on a serum that absorbs into those freshly clean microchannels and immediately after a mask will go on that is massaged into your face. And yes, massaged into your face. So it's a, a great experience when, when we sell these and when we set people up, we do want them to come in for three treatments. So the entire Vivace cycle would be three treatments, approximately two to four weeks apart. And we can flex and work with your scheduling. Um, but uh, it's very important that you, you come in, you get the full treatment. And when the last thing you remember or feel is that massage and there was no pain experience, uh, it's very, very rare in this laser industry, we get to harp on a no pain, no downtime scenario with the clinical results that are blowing everything away in the market. Um, I have three older sisters and a mom that are always grilling me on what they should do. And, and Michael, we want to get a treatment. If you're looking to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and have a skin tightening aspect, which I don't know who of us over 30, 35 years old doesn't, Vivace is your solution. Um, make sure you get in touch with your Azura staff. Uh, they have all the information in case you missed any or we went over it too fast and they'll be happy to plug you in with a little bit more uh, information. Um, again, no clinical downtime. You might have a little bit of redness or pinkness that can subside for approximately an hour or two post-procedure. But again, if you get the treatment done morning or afternoon, you go to dinner that night with your friends, nobody's gonna know you had a treatment. It's fantastic. No blood, no trauma. It's a very, what we call elegant injury. It, uh, it accomplishes the, the wound that we're looking for and nothing more. Post-treatment, we do have a recommendation or actually a requirement that we need you to commit to. Uh, that's no sun, no sweat, no harsh chemicals, and you can use a gentle cleanser later that night before you go to bed. Uh, but that's very important, those three, just to protect your skin because you do have open wounds. We don't want any negative side effects to come into play. Um, I feel like I've, I've spoken a lot about this throughout the presentation, so I'm going to make it a little quick. Whoops, excuse me. I'm going to back up one. So kind of the Vivace versus all other devices. Not really important because I, I think, I hope I've done a good job selling of why we lead most of our clients to the, the Vivace. Um, often when we're looking at other lasers, there's always one or two or three that rise to the top that it ultimately becomes the, the clinic the Azuras of the world that need to make a decision on what's best for them and their patients. With Vivace, it's, it's so easy. I mean, nothing compares to this in the country. So if you're familiar with traditional microneedling, perhaps you've heard of skin pen or, or something in that nature. Um, here we have Brooks. So uh, Brooks was kind enough to allow us to use her before and afters from traditional microneedling and then her RF microneedling as well. This is what I'm talking about on the right, traditional microneedling. It's bloody. There's pain. There's downtime. 
Um, and this isn't good when, when we want, uh, you know, a little bit of the science, we, we don't want whole blood, we don't want red blood to be in these clean microchannels. That's actually a negative reaction. When you look at the counterpart, when she's had her uh, Vivace on the left-hand side here, perfectly clean channels immediately after. So the first one on the left of Brooks uh, on the far side is immediately after. And then the one on the left side under RF microneedling, but on the right side of that is 24 hours after. So she had an incredible response. And when we treated Brooks, we asked her, you know, how do you respond to lasers? And she said, look, anything touches my skin, I, I turn red. So we knew what we were expecting going into it. And when we showed her a full blown to the max treatment, and this is how she looked immediately after, I think that's what kind of pushed it over the edge and, and they were happy Vivace users ever since. What does the rest of the nation think about it? Same thing. Uh, here you see the approval rating for microneedling. It's an effective tool. The science works. It's been around for ages, decades now, actually, in a type of roller or mechanical aspect. But on the right-hand side, you see Vivace rating, 96% by peers and doctors. Uh, so patients alike, all the way across the board, everyone is in love, whether they're offering it or getting the treatment. It's a home run. So now I'm going to breeze through some before and afters. Here we have a female, age 60. Uh, she's a lighter skin type, but she did have the cycle of three treatments. Again, three treatments, spaced two to four weeks apart. And if you would, pay close attention right under her eye. Uh, right what you see here, these, these periorbital and perioral lines have been virtually wiped away. Here we have a, a different style. Uh, so we're looking at a male age 40, and this is just a deep pitted acne or acne scars. Just after three treatments, an incredible improvement over the skin tone and texturing. Here we have a young lady with active acne, particularly around the chin and jawline. Um, just after a couple treatments, virtually took care of her acne. Again, acne scarring on the left side of the cheek versus just three treatments later. Now we're going to talk a little bit about skin tightening. So if you look at the lady in the upper left-hand corner, particularly right around the lower region of the neck, she had some crepey skin she was very unhappy with. Three treatments, you can see the comparison, smooth neck as can be. And from the side, she even had some submental. Um, so not only tightening aspect, but there was some contouring where it pulled it up as well and gave her a more contoured neck from the side and front. This young man uh, had some concerns because of the scar that you'll see on the upper left hand side, some discoloration within red, uh, redness throughout his cheeks, and just some overall large pore size with wrinkles developing on his forehead. And I think you can see uh, a picture's worth a thousand words, what incredible results he transitioned to. Uh, here's one of our Azura patients. Again, lines around the periorbital, or excuse me, perioral region from the nose to the mouth and then virtually wiped away. Not only that, but the, the smoothness and toning of the skin. And look at the red from the side, completely taken care of. Deep lines from the nose to the mouth, gone. Very close up of that pore size and what we see in the cheek and how it virtually dissipates it. Very, very tough <laughs> wrinkles and fine lines. This is a difficult case that a lot of, of physicians or providers would say, maybe it's time for uh, a surgical means, not with Avachi. She had her three treatments. She loved the results. She wanted to continue getting the tightening aspect. So, so she opted for uh, an additional treatment uh, approximately six months later. And then another treatment again the next season. So she's just virtually adopted Vivace for her natural regimen of what she's going to do to take care of her skin from here on out. Darker skin type with um, not only hypertrophic scarring, but acne, deep acne scarring, incredible results. It changed this man's life. Again, just overall smoothing and texturing with wrinkles and fine lines. Here we have lines across the forehead. So both of these patients weren't quite ready to jump into Botox and injectables. Um, for whatever reason, they were happily able to go under 36 needles to the forehead. That was their fear, the needle aspect. But when they felt this, they were okay with it. And it, again, took care of those deep lines across the forehead that you see here. 
Now, two patients that lost a substantial amount of weight with some contouring um, and diet and exercise, but they had all this massive uh, lax skin that is, you know, not too attractive. But look at the tightening that, that transpired from left to right here. And then this other patient with massive amount and the tightening from that before and after. Last one here, uh, just showcasing a little bit more of uh, wrinkles and fine lines as well as some acne scarring, the before and after here, and this lady overall texture and tone improvements as well. So you can look on Instagram or social media, not only at Azura's before and afters, but across the nation and, and see what the treatment looks like, what it sounds like, how it feels, the descriptions of it, the unbelievable aha moment when they actually feel it and they say, you know, it doesn't hurt. There's no downtime. And, and the results that are barring after that are, are the second tier that we, we get to where people are just fall in love with this type of technology. Here's what you can expect to look like immediately after. Um, that's about as bad as it gets. This, this erythema pink hue to the face and skin, but then just two hours post Vivace, back to normal. You would never know he had a procedure. Uh, this young lady, uh, that was just a few, or excuse me, 30 minutes, not even a few hours. And again, Asian skin type, great reaction. She already has some glow and good reaction from it. So why Vivace? Again, this is the most advanced technology offering in the space. If you want wrinkles reduced or fine lines reduced, any type of skin tightening, toning, texture, acne scars, surgical scars, uh, even stretch marks, this will be your solution. Give Azura a call, uh, set, set an appointment up, and we're going to be talking about some great promotions to take advantage of during this call. Um, so we'll, we'll jump into that shortly. But again, no pain, no downtime, industry-leading results. Thank you all very much for listening. I uh, hope I answered some questions or provided some education. But at this point, we'll open the floor up for any questions that may have been asked. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Michael. We did get a couple of questions or a few actually. Um, the first one, which I think you did a pretty good job of covering is what is the difference between the Vivace with RF radio frequency um, and the regular microneedling? Um, I don't know if Belle or Jesse want to kind of tackle that answer. I'd love to take that one. Um, it's actually a question that gets positioned a lot during our consultations. Jesse, I'm sure you would agree to this, that um, essentially microneedling has been around for a bit and that's really um, kind of like one of those buzzy uh, treatment options that are out there and the radio frequency is the newest evolution of it. So it's hard to really understand the differences really between the two. And so essentially the quick answer is that with radio frequency, you get accelerated, re accelerated results with little to no downtime. And so really, as Michael did a fantastic job explaining a little bit during the slideshow, is that with your traditional microneedling devices, they have anywhere from nine to 12 needles on the tip versus the Vifachi, which has 36 gold tipped um, needles. So that right there is really going to tell you that um, you get many more perforations within the skin. And then when you pair that with uh, the radio frequency, the lead LED therapies, um, you just really get deeper penetration and it's almost like a triangulation of, of simulation within the treatment. So, um, that and really with traditional needling, you have the two to three days worth of downtime, which you saw in Brooks's picture. Um, it's it can be very bloody, and you almost have a mild to moderate sunburn kind of look for those for that duration. Whereas really, with the Vivace, like little to no downtime, primarily because you're able to go at a deeper depth within the skin without causing as you're not disturbing that layer on the surface. So that's how you're able to get to the little to no downtime. So it's, it's really, um, it's really quite amazing. I've had the procedure done myself and I absolutely love it. And um, really when addressing the primary difference between the two, it's like comparing a commercial flight to a, a G5 jet. There's really, so with a side by side, by side comparison of um, a single treatment, you know, Vivace just has, you know, accelerated results with little to no downtime. So it's um, just a fantastic treatment. 
I love it. I'll add, um, Belle answered that beautifully, but um, another thing that's another benefit of it too with the radio frequency um, is that the radio frequency, not only is the this device able to penetrate deeper um, to those layers that you really want collagen to be simulated than regular microneedling, but also the radio frequency creates this heat and heat is what you need for tightening and firming. So for that reason, it does a better job of people complaining about the neck and saggy skin. You really won't see quite as much as that as you would with something like Avache with the added benefit of the radio frequency and that heat that's being penetrated deeper into the skin. Awesome. Uh, yes, I am not obviously a provider, but I second and third and fourth and fifth everything they said. Um, and I think Avache is probably one of our, if not the favorite treatment throughout the office, is definitely top three. Um, my personal favorite. I think everyone could agree to um, because I just don't like downtime. Um, and that I think for me personally is the biggest difference between the two. And then the results that you can see afterward, the, the downtime versus the results is just so great with the Vivace. It's just, there's nothing that compares to it. It's yeah. I, I've, I've been in this industry for about five years now. I've worked with a lot of different lasers and devices. And when we did our training for it, I was like, yeah, right. They're promising no pain and these great results. And I really didn't believe it. But now I, I will talk about Vivace, do every sort of recording that I can about it because I just, we literally have, it's not painful. You can do it to everybody. And the results are just, they, they hold up. They're so much better than what you get from a lot of other devices. So there's really nothing that we don't love about it. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it pairs really well with other modalities that we have at Azura. So um, pairs great with um, Halo and BBL, which are more light-based treatments. So being that RF is a little different, um, they just complement each other very well. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for answering that question. Um, another uh, question that we got, we got a few different types, but I'm going to kind of group these together because I feel like you guys can probably answer it in one go. It's how many treatments are really needed with Vivace, as well as like how far apart do you need to do them? Um, and then how long do the results last? So I, I guess kind of like maintenance, what, what kind of maintenance do, would they need to do after they did their series of Vivace? So typically, um, Guidelines recommend that you do a series of three to start, um, like how it is with most lasers. You space it out four weeks in between or every month you would do one. Um, and that's kind of more corrective. I mean, it depends on where you're starting off, where you want to end, if you just want to glow, if you have deeper scars, um, those, anything that's really deeper into the skin and requires more collagen stimulation will require obviously a few more treatments to kind of get you um, to you know a better end result but typically we say three for most people spaced a month apart and then after that you know as far as maintenance goes you constantly need to be stimulating your skin um you know along with other modalities and chemical peels and other types of lasers but depends on the person but typically recommend anywhere from one to three maybe a year for maintenance so maybe one every six months or one every three months um depending on the person and what they're exposed to, what their goals are. But um, as far as how long does it last? I mean, there's so many things that can, you know, I'm sure Belle can do a better job of explaining this too. There's so many other things that can affect our skin. So you have to, it depends on how good you are at kind of protecting your skin from the sun um, and just maintaining your skin with good skincare, um, all sorts of other things, but we're creating collagen. You constantly have to stimulate collagen. Once we hit 30, we're done with collagen stimulation, unfortunately. So you have to find new ways of stimulating collagen. Collagen is the name of the game to kind of help with all of these issues with your skin. So basically. Josie, I think you brought up a great point though too, <laughs> because when clients ask how long do the results last, you're really stimulating your own natural collagen production. So it doesn't necessarily go away, but it's the, the maintenance component of it. You can't just go and, and work out once or twice and expect those results to last you a lifetime. You have to maintain it and feed it. So it's kind of, I guess, teeing me up for like another question that I typically get in the, the treatment room. So I don't know if anyone has asked this yet, but about um, product recommendations, it's, it's one of those areas that I really feel kind of gets a little lost. It, it tends to be a little bit more um, 
clients get hyper focused in on what the treatments that they can do to have a desired result, but it product at like home care for products is often overlooked and it's a huge component in sustaining and protecting this investment that you're um, providing for your skin. So as with health and fitness, you wouldn't just necessarily focus on the exercise component. You really want to address the diet component as well. So whatever you're feeding the skin is um, just as essential. So it's not like um, hopefully not too much McDonald's or PDQ um, on the surface especially after you've done this, um, you know, Ferrari of an experience for your skin, so. Um, awesome. um, good explanation, thank you guys. I wanna make sure there aren't any other questions that kind of go along with that. Um, so we can just kind of build, build on that. Well, actually, Belle, you just kind of touched on it. Another question is what kind of uh, products should I use for post-care and at home? After oh, great. The so post-care wise, Michael mentioned earlier that um, the Vivace experience does come with um, an experience kit. So it does have a serum for you to use for the first 12, 24 hours. And um, the mask that we utilize is placed um, immediately post-procedure. So it helps to really calm and soothe the skin. But really uh, the first 12, 24 hours, you're going to use like a gentle cleanser. Um, I know we have an Elta um, facial cleanser you could use or the Zio gentle cleanser and then just the, the serum um, that comes with the experience kit for that first 12 to 24 hours uh, post-procedure. But um, really in terms of product recommendations to help hold on to the results and efforts of the treatment. Um, I really feel like I just need to highlight a few products that would be in additional to a typical regimen because for everyone it's going to be a little different depending on what your skin goals are, your, your indications and um, just overall um, skin goal. So aside from your typical skin regimen, which really should consist of like your cleansers, your exfoliant, your toners, some functional hydrator and SPF. Um, these additional products that I would recommend would really be to consider an eye and neck cream. Um, absolutely, because if we're focusing in on uh, textural correction, you're really going to want to protect um, the eye and neck area just because it's more thin, sensitive and delicate than any other area on the face. Um, and it's really the first areas to show signs of aging. So I do have some recommendations for like eye and neck creams. Um, Zio has a great one, um, the Zio Intense Eye Cream, um, the, the Neo Neck and Decollete uh, Neck Cream as well, which would be great. Um, especially, you know, if we do Vivace off the face, Vivace off the face is a very popular treatment that we do at Azura as well. Um, neck, chest, um, Jenny likes to do the elbows. Um, uh, I think Brooke does the knees. So we do off face treatments there as well. Um, firming serum and growth factors would be a very complimentary product category uh, to really be able to um, hold on to the, the results. So I like to consider firming uh, serums and growth factors kind of like Spanx for the face. It just helps hold it there because it really goes into working with um, the open microchannels that we've created, those preparations, so you get better topical absorption. Um, so it, it really also helps um, assist in the whole entire wound healing cascade as well. Um, so Zio just came out with a firming serum. I want to say the Neocutis um, Bio Serum is now the Neocutis Bio firming serum, which has the growth factors and um, firming components to it as well. Uh, retinol is definitely, if you're not already utilizing one, we have um, a plethora to pick from. So some have um, growth factors to them. Some of them have um, just diff different delivery systems. I'm not going to go into the specifics there, but we have a wide menu of retinols to really be able to find something to fit within your skincare regimen. And lastly, vitamin Cs. But I feel like I have to go back and, and um, touch on the retinols and vitamin Cs. Those are two things that you definitely do not want to use. I would even be inclined to say 48 hours 
after your Vivaji treatment, just because it can be a little irritating. So um, this is kind of more after that um, post-procedure healing process. So um, vitamin C's would be fantastic. We have Azura um, vitamin C brightening serum. We have Azeo um, vitamin C serum as well. So lots to pick from. Awesome. Um, let me Another, see. Um, question that if it wasn't asked, I'm surprised um, that I get asked a lot actually in the room is, when will I see my results? And I'm, I'm not sure if Michael touched on this or not, or how soon until I notice a difference. Um, and I think he did mention it a little bit. Typically what I tell people is that what we're doing is we're stimulating collagen. Like I said before, neocollagenesis can take anywhere from 30 days to 90 days um, with three months actually being more typical. So I tell people, you know, it's amazing what it does for your skin, but you have to be patient like all things. Um, so when you come in for your third treatment, we're usually starting to see results from the very first treatment that you did. And then it will just continue to improve and improve and get better. Um, although that being said, you definitely, in my experience and majority of my patients experience, you notice a glow um, and kind of a brightening to your skin. Um, after I've had it done, I've had my regular patients always point out, man, you, you look great. You look like you're glowing. You look, your skin looks like firm and tight. Like, what did you do? Like they asked me before I even have to bring up Vache because my, they can already tell that much of a difference in my skin um, pretty immediately, almost within a week. But as far as doing things that are a little bit more like helping with like deeper scars or firming and tightening that we need our collagen simulation to happen. And that just takes time, but typically around three months. Yeah, I second that as well. I've gotten more compliments after a Vivace treatment. It's a couple of weeks, I think, usually is around the time that people start noticing. And I really start noticing a little bit of a glow and a minimization in my pore size. Um, it's pretty spectacular. But yeah, people will, and I wear less makeup after yeah. I have it done. It's just, I just feel more comfortable. A lot of times you can notice something that's like, you can like stare in the mirror and notice, oh my God, my pores look a little bit smaller, but for other people to notice that about you, yeah. that's a lot, that's rare. Yeah, I think I've gotten the most that's compliments great. on my skin since I've done Vivace, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty and I can't do that many lasers on my skin because I'm a little bit darker. Um, and people don't realize that, that it, it's a little bit excluding. There's some, there's some lasers that I've avoided um, because I'm worried about hyperpigmentation and it causing more issues in my skin. And with Avache, I don't have to worry about that. You know, it's safe to do on anybody at any time. Um, so it's just a major benefit to it. Yeah. yeah. I've had two clients actually that um, as we're going through the, their second treatment or whatnot, I'm checking in to find out how they're, um, I guess post procedure was, and just to check in to see if they've noticed and felt a difference. And I've had numerous clients say that their husbands have complimented them on how great their skin looks. And it's one of those things where that's like a home run compliment, um, especially if their husbands have noticed. The great thing is that they compliment you, but they don't notice after the downtime. They don't know what you did. And everyone's always like, oh, is there, are they going to know? Is the signal that they're going to know? You don't, you can't tell afterwards, immediately afterwards. They just think that you look great. <laughs> just the whole point <laughs> without knowing how it went down. <laughs> I know, it really is the best. Um, <laughs> let's see if we had any other questions. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, one question was about contraindications. So is there ever a reason that someone would not be able to get um, this treatment done for them? There's a few, and I'm sure that Michael can touch on it a little bit more too. Um, typically, you know, if you have a pacemaker, um, which we don't have too many patients that have pacemakers, um, the radio frequency can affect that and, and set off, you know, um, cause issues with that. Um, anybody who's pregnant or breastfeeding, you want to obviously avoid all treatments on them just because it's unknown if there's any effects, unlikely, um, especially because it's locally acting, but we always just avoid that because it's unknown. Um, anybody who's been on Accutane, which is a really aggressive acne medication within a six months prior, um, is a contraindication usually for several lasers. Um, what else is there? Medical um, grade implants. Medical, med yeah, many. The other one. And we're not referring to dental. So if you have braces or, or small cavity fillings or something that's in the, you know, your mouth, that's not a problem. We're talking you were in an unfortunate accident. You have plates in your knees or screws or rods or bolts. That medical grade metal, um, that would exclude you from treatment over that area. So if you just had it in your knee and you were getting your face and neck done, perfectly fine. Uh, but we would want to stay about four to six inches away from wherever there is medical grade metal. 
Um, and then you mentioned Accutane, also blood thinners. We want to be careful with uh, Plavix, Warfarin, um, that drug class. You mentioned pregnant and breastfeeding and then pacemaker, of course. Those are the big ones that we're most, most concerned about as the contraindications. And typically with most lasers that we do, we recommend that you avoid using any retinols at least three days beforehand too, as it can make your skin more um, irrita irritated and dry. Any, any active infection, obviously we don't treat over as well. Awesome. Um, I think we only had a couple more questions. One is about pricing, which I will absolutely go over once we're done with the more um, treatment-based questions. Uh, I got a question about skin tightening. I couldn't quite understand it, but I'm assuming it's asking if this is a really good treatment for skin tightening. It's the best. Yeah. I mean, so skin tightening is either a surgical means, meaning you're getting cut on, or you're applying, you know, heat, radio frequency. So uh, I don't think anyone would contest in the industry that that RF, radio frequency, is the best application. And this just adds fuel to the fire with the injectables, the microneedling, as far as being utilized in the same, in tandem, simultaneously. So if you're looking for tightening of the neck, tightening of, of course, the face region, um, next most popular areas are under the arms, the bat wings, you know, the, the back, the abdomen, the thighs, the knees, the legs. You can go head to toe with this for incredible skin tightening. And combining it with a firming serum is a win-win. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And sorry, I did miss a question. Um, let me see that. Uh, so she said, so is this going over your entire face or is it like a spot treatment? You're going to want to treat your whole face. <laughs> yeah, typically it's a full face because it makes every, it helps with everything. Um, I, the only time that I've had somebody do like a spot treatment is if, they should have done a whole area, but they just wanted to just focus on just one stretch mark and just one scar or one scar that they had. Um, but you, we typically treat the whole face. Yeah. Um, and you can do like spot treatments are more for like the body, like smaller areas on the body, I guess might be. Cause that face, give it all the, it needs all the help. Even if you're young and you know, in your, you know, young twenties, it's still good to kind of give you a glow and to kind of help stimulate collagen and kind of give you an extra little boost and help with pore size helps with everything. Awesome. Um, I think that was most of the questions about the treatment. Do you guys have anything you want to add that maybe we didn't get asked or covered? Um, that's good to know about Vivachi, the experience or the post care. Um, just that, you know, it really, people are, it, you really do feel minimal pain. Um, we typically, num we know our patients for 30 minutes, like Michael said, but I know Belle has even been treated before without the numbing cream. And even she can say that it wasn't even that bad without the numbing cream. Um, I know that in order to other, in the past, I've used other radio frequency microneedling devices and they were very, very painful. And I'm pretty sure, I, I think that the insulated tips have a lot to do with that, but I can honestly say, because I've had it done on myself. And when I do it to patients, I love performing this treatment on people because, you know, their, their toes aren't curling. They don't look like they're in pain. Like contrary to me being an injector, I don't like to inflict pain on my patients and people never, they are always willing and excited and ready to come in a month later to do it again. Nobody dreads having this procedure done. Um, it's very easy breezy and very comfortable. Yeah. And I'm a wuss, like a complete wuss when it comes to any kind of discomfort with treatments. I mean, I'll do it because beauty is pain, uh, but I, I hate being uncomfortable. Um, and I've had the Vivachi done without numbing uh, and it was fine. Like it, it wasn't painful at all. It's very tolerable. Um, I am just such a wuss that I like to numb just to avoid any even anxiety about it. So I, you can do it either way, but we do numb, right guys? Um, for 30 minutes beforehand. So just to avoid any sort of discomfort that could happen, even though it's highly unlikely. Um, but it, it really is the most comfortable treatment I've ever had and it feels good. Um, and then the downtime afterward, you're pink for an hour or two. And I then you have like the grid marks, um, maybe cause I, you know, I 
on myself because I went probably pretty aggressive. On, <laughs> that's when I go pretty aggressive on myself. But you can see um, the like the actual needle mark sometimes immediately afterwards. So, like if you, I gave you a mirror immediately after we did the procedure, you would notice that, but it goes away so quickly that by the time you leave, you probably wouldn't even notice that. But that's a normal thing to kind of see after the procedure as well. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anything else from you, Belle, that we didn't chat, that we didn't cover? No, I think Michael did a fantastic job covering everything uh, within the slides. Um, so, no. Awesome. All right. Well, the last question that I got from a few people is about cost of the procedure. Um, the the cost for one treatment is seven hundred and fifty dollars. That is the kind of regular price. The offer that we are giving to everyone who's attended today is to purchase the series of three because that is the recommended uh, number of treatments to have spaced two to four weeks apart. If you purchase a series of three, you'll receive those each at six hundred. Uh, dollars per treatment. So that's 150 off of each treatment. And we wanted to offer that um, to people because we know everyone right now is kind of being hit with this pandemic in so many different ways. And a lot of our clients are super excited to get back into the, the doors of Azura and get their skin taken care of. So we want to make that as easy as possible for you. And this is one of our favorite treatments. So um, yeah, we wanted to give that offer to everyone who attended today and we will be sending an email out after this. So if you did not get me your email, if you would now just chat me um, your name and email, I'll be sure that you receive that. It will have the link to go and purchase uh, this offer. You won't be able to find the link without that email. Um, so send that to me if you can. We're also offering if you only want to purchase one or two and don't really want to commit to the full series of three, we are still offering um, one treatment at $625. So normally $750, you can either get a couple of treatments today for $625 each or you can buy the series of three for $600 each. Um, and I will try to share my screen so that you can kind of see what we've got going there. Fingers crossed, I haven't done this yet, so. Ooh, can you see? Ooh. Yeah? That's yeah. it, yep. Oh, yay, I did something new. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, the what the email will kind of look like when you receive it. Um, just a quick thank you for joining us. You'll be able to click on the purchase now. And there we go, awesome. Uh, and this is what you'll see. This is um, hidden from the public. So only you guys are able to access this and you will be able to see all of the offerings that we're having for Vivace. Um, you can purchase the three treatments. Like I said, it's um, normally $750 each, so it would total $2250 and you can get those three treatments for just $1,800. So that's gonna be the biggest savings you'll ever see um, offered on the Vivace. So, if you've never done it and want to try it, this is a good time to do it. If you have done it and want to keep up your maintenance treatments, also a good time to do that. Um, if you only want to do one or two, you can just click on the single treatment and you'll be able to choose um, how many you'd like and add that to the cart. And then we're also offering, you can add on areas. Um, the abdomen and the chest are 300. That's because they're just a bigger area. It takes a lot more time than let's say just the, the back of the arm or the neck um, or just above the knees. Um, so you can just do that, add it to your cart and it'll walk you through the rest of the, the, rest of the process from there. Um, like I said, we'll be sending that out in an email uh, to you guys after this. So be sure that you are um, sending that to me in the chat. Uh, function. And you can also, if you have any other questions that we didn't answer today, you can go online to azuraskin.com and um, schedule a virtual consultation. Uh, a lot of our providers have that available. You'll be able to just click on the home page. It'll be right up there for you. Click on book a virtual consultation. You'll pick your provider. You can pick your time that works best for you. And we'll be doing virtual consultations up until the time that we reopen, which we're 
fingers crossed, uh, maybe May, but we obviously don't know yet. Um, we are happy to book appointments towards the end of May and into June, but just know that until we really know when we can reopen, we may or may not have to reschedule those. So at least in the meantime, we can schedule some virtual consultations so you can talk with Jesse Bell or one of our other estheticians, Brooke or Hope, about the treatment and see what might be best for you and, and how far apart to book those. Um, I think that's it for me as far as the cost and what we're gonna be sending you guys afterwards. I think I might have gotten one other question though. Oh, we covered this before, but she may not have been on the call. How many treatments do you recommend for upkeep a year after you do the full facial treatment? So I'm assuming she means the full series of three. Um, I think you guys touched on this, but if you don't mind just going over it real quick again for her so she can know. I would continue to do one every three months, every three to six months, but I, I would say three months, honestly. Cool. Belle, would you agree with that? I'm assuming. <laughs> Absolutely. I really think it depends on um, your skin goals, your focus, the integrity of the skin. Um, just going back and kind of um, reevaluating how far your skin progressed during the first session and then perhaps, you know, coming in once or twice again, back to back, and then maybe seasonally or every two months come in for a treatment. It really is kind of dependent on the, the person, I think. Speaking to that too, and I know this is, I know we're finishing it up too, but that just reminded me, um, what we're doing is we're creating micro injuries in the skin and that just how good your results are somewhat dependent on the person and how good you are at healing yourself. Um, so if you have, you know, if you smoke or if you have poorly controlled diabetes, which are not a lot of our patients, but um, if you do, then, you know, it's a little bit, your ability to heal and create that collagen is a little bit less than others too. So that's another caveat as you may require more treatments, but typically for our patients who are, you know, healthy and taking care of themselves, um, you know, it's a, they're able to heal pretty well. So like one to three, depending on, like Bell said, like where they're at once they're finished their, their initial three. Awesome. Um, and sorry, one more question, which I think I can probably cover is um, to please repeat the package deal again. Uh, and that is, um, so regularly priced Vivachi one treatment is 750 um, per treatment. But for this event pricing, we are offering a series of three treatments at $600 each. So it's $1,800 total for three treatments, which normally would be $2,250. So you're saving quite a bit um, on those. You don't have to purchase just one series if you really want to go for it. Um, you can purchase multiple at that price, um, especially if you're wanting to keep those maintenance um, treatments going throughout the year. Uh, I can assure you it will be probably one of the best investments in your skin you can make. Um, that's just from personal experience. I think a lot of, a lot of the people out of Zurich could also attest to that. Um, so yeah, three for 600 each, or you can just purchase one if you wanted to try a Vivace out for 625 instead of the regular 750. And that's all online. Like I said, we'll be sending that email out to you hopefully within an hour after um, this event closes. And then you can just click that link. It'll take you right there and walk you through it. And if you have any trouble, please feel free to email us at hello at azuraskin.com. And we'll try to walk you through that if you have any issues at all. Um, but I think that is all the questions I received. I think we covered everything. Um, and yeah, so, and we stopped right on time, eight o'clock. <laughs> Right on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys all for joining us. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions that you forgot to ask. We'll get you an answer as soon as possible. Um, really hope everyone's staying safe out there and healthy. And we can't wait. I know the providers can definitely attest to this. We really can't wait to see you guys back in Azura soon. <laughs> I dreams that I'm treating patients. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Azura. We appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Michael. Take care, everyone. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.